The rain and storms forced many event organizers to delay or even cancel plans in downtown Columbus. And uh, we, throughout the day, sometimes the roads were quiet and then all of a sudden the rain came pelting down on car windshields. You see people out there with their uh, umbrellas and the people that we spoke with say it was an absolute downpour at times. You can see here at an area park, people rushing to bring their boats back to shore and downtown Columbus also got stuck in a few huge squalls. This unfortunately caused problems for the Columbus crew game, which was set to start around four o'clock today. Lower.com field made the call to delay the start of the game for around two hours. Crew fans tell us they braved the rain for as long as they could. Well, we're heading back to the car now and it's still raining. So we're thinking that the game probably isn't going to happen. I mean, yeah, it's always a bummer. Like I'm a season ticket holder, so the whole point is to go to as many games as you can. But at the end of the day, you know, do I want to stand around in the rain with my friends? Sure, but it gets to a point where it's kind of not worth it anymore. We did take the field around six o'clock tonight to have another delay shortly after returning. But some fans did just let the rain fall down and stayed to see the team play. Of course, Whitney Harding will have highlights coming up in sports of that game, but for the weather to track storm chances, temperatures and more, download the free Storm Team 4 mobile weather app. Just search NBC4WX in the App Store or in Google Play.